Hello, dear students. Now, in this lecture, we see very important next relationship in production economics, product-product relation, relationship. Already, we see the two important relationships, okay? Factor-product relationship in that we cover principle of variable proportion. Now, this is uh, which uh, second relationship uh, which we, uh, we study already. So that is factor-factor relationship in that we study principle of factor substitution. Okay. Now here in this relationship, product-product relationship, we study principle of optimum product combination. Okay. So that is very, very important three principles we covered in these three relationship and these three relationships are very very important for your final theory examination point of view okay now we see the part first in product product relationship okay so what we study in this part first so we study the basic point related with product product relationship the farmer have limited resources. Why we have to study this point? Because the farmer have limited resources, already you know, and have a number of enterprises or enterprise combinations of crops and livestock to choose from. Is it right? So the question is, how much of what to produce and with what technology? So that is very important question arises in the mind of farmer, okay, when he cultivate or when he engaged in any enterprise okay in farming business so in other word what combination of enterprise should be produced okay so that we have to see in this product product relationship so algebraically here we have to study the relationship between two products see here y is the uh, symbol we already know why is the symbol given for product and x is the symbol given for factor factor means input and y is output okay so y1 is equal to function of y2 this relationship we study in this product product relationship now in this relationship we study very very important one concept what is ppc production possibility curve Okay, so what is production possibility curve? It is a curve, okay, and it is a convenient device for depicting two production functions on a single graph. Okay, so definition of production possibility curve is it represents all possible combination of two products that could, could be produced with given amount of inputs. Whatever the inputs you uh, give, okay, in uh, any field, how much possible combinations of two products is generated? So that we study in this particular concept production possibility. So production possibility curve is also known as opportunity curve because it represents all production possibilities or opportunities available with limited resources. So it is also known as opportunity curve. It is called ISO resource curve. So what is the Third name for this curve, ISO resource curve or ISO factor curve because each output combination on this curve has same resource requirement. It is also called transformation curve as it indicates the rate of transformation of one product into another. So these are the different names for this particular concept, production possibility curve. Now, how to draw this production possibility curve? So, production possibility curve can be drawn either directly from production function, okay, or from total cost curve. The method of drawing production possibility curve from production function is explained below. Now, see one example. A farmer has five acres of land and wants to produce two products. Which are the name of two products? Cotton. This is first product Y1 and maize is the second product Y2. Assume all other inputs are fixed. Okay. Now the farmer has to decide how much of land input to use on each product. Okay. We consider other inputs are 
fixed okay okay uh, and we have to focus on which input land okay now see the example the amount of land can be used to produce cotton okay y1 depends upon the amount of land used to produce maize so this is the relationship y1 is the function of y2 the allocation of land resource between two product and the output from different doses of land okay input are represented below okay now see allocation of land in acres for y1 how many acres 0 1 2 3 4 5 and for y2 5 4 3 2 1 0 and what is the output in quintals from y1 uh, cotton and from y2 so that figures is also given here now see as evident from the above data if all five acres of land are used in production of y2 we obtain how many quintals 60 quintals maximum of y2 and do, do not get any y1 on the other hand if all the five acres of land are used in production of y1 we can obtain how many quintals see here last figure 30 quintals of y1 and do not get any y2 but these are the two extreme production possibilities in these two okay there will be many other production possibilities so plotting these two points on a graph we get production possibility curve if you take output of y1 on ox axis figures of output of y1 on ox axis and y2 output of y2 on oy axis then we get different production possibilities and with the help of that we can get one curve so that curve is called as the plotting the combination of y1 and y2 we get one curve that is known as that curve production possibility curve okay now the next important point in this product product relationship iso revenue line so what is iso revenue line definition is very important it represents all possible combinations of two products which would yield an equal revenue or income okay so whatever the combinations you select that combination will yield same revenue so characteristics of iso revenue line is iso revenue line is a straight line because product prices do not change with quantity sold so for all quantities product price remains same as the total revenue increases the iso revenue line moves from the origin since the total revenue determines the distance from of it from the origin the slope indicates ratio of product prices okay so that uh, straight line iso revenue line the slope of that line represents which prices output prices as long as product prices remain constant the iso revenue line showing different total revenues are parallel but change in either price will change the slope okay so keep in mind that iso revenue line is the line which represents product price okay whatever the price you sold that product into the market so that price represents through iso revenue line in this relationship okay thank you